Good, good day to everybody. It's good to be back. And we are here again. Remember, we are praying not only to our Blessed Mother, we are praying with her. He is, she is our model of being united to God. When Jesus said, pray, never cease praying, that is what she meant. Even when we breathe in and breathe out, we must breathe in and breathe out in the Lord. When it is in the Lord, we are praying. Everything has to be there in the Lord. As a matter of fact, that is what is happening in our lives. We cannot even breathe if God does not permit it. That's why we live. We rise up in the morning. We go back to bed at night. During the day, we do things, so hopefully, always good things. We are always doing that because we are in the Lord. We are with the Lord all the time. And if you live like that, like our Blessed Mother, 24-7, she is always united to the Lord. You are in continuous prayer. Even when you are asleep, you can be sure you pray. Even you offer yourself to God and you belong to God, you're always with God. Every bit of my heart, that is one of my prayer now. Every bit of my heart, dear Lord, I beg you, make it an act of increasing love for you. So you, we grow in love, and it only, it's only God who can do that. Now. So we have our Blessed Mother always with us. Remember when we are at Mass, she, she stands at the foot of the cross. We are there. We are the beloved disciple. And why are we there? Because we believe that Christ who is true God, who became true man through the Blessed Mother, is the one who can bring us also to becoming one with God. And the Blessed Mother stands at the foot of the cross. That is the most important moment for the life of Christ. That it should be our most important moment too because that is our way, sure way, the only way to go to heaven. So we are at this, uh, let us make ourselves really uh, aware that we are in the presence of our God. The assurance that we are united to God and will always remain to is none other than our Blessed Mother. She is never in any way separated from God. All her life is lived for Jesus out of love for God, united always in the Spirit. In that uh, atmosphere, let us also make ourselves totally God's and uh, thank Him because He really in spite of ourselves, receives us into His divinity. Almighty Father, thank You for You are our Father. Thank You for You give us Your Son, Jesus, to be with us always. Thank You because the Holy Spirit is with us. Like our Blessed Mother, she is completely the spouse of the Holy Spirit. We too must be filled with the Holy Spirit. We will live only for You, O Heavenly Father. Thank you for giving us our Holy Mother, so full of your divinity, so totally united with you. Help us to be truly sons and daughters of this wonderful Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been going around with our Blessed Mother from the Holy Land to Spain, to Mexico, to Venezuela, to Europe, France, everywhere the Blessed Mother brings her children, always inviting everyone to be with her. Now we will go to America, to the United States, the only place apparition recognized by the church so far in the United States happened in Wisconsin. The place is Green Bay. The title of the Blessed Mother is Our Lady of Good Help. So many titles of the Blessed Mother. You cannot, there is a book called uh, Cum Maria Num Cum Satis. With Mary there is never enough. You can give her all the titles Sometimes the title is the place where she had been, like Our Lady of Lourdes, Lourdes a prince at the place in France, Our Lady of Fatima. But remember, Our Lady of Lourdes, she, 
she told that she is the Immaculate Conception. And Our Lady Fatima, she is a Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, Queen of Peace, no? many other titles, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. No? In uh, Medjugorje, she is Queen of Peace, and that has something to do with the war in, in that Islamic countries, no? which has been always uh, hostile to one another. So, Our Lady of Peace. And then we have, uh, uh, today we have Our Lady of Good Health. We talk, uh, one of the first things that we reflect upon is Our Lady of Good Success that is in Quito, Ecuador. No? Many of these are recognized apparitions of Blessed Mother. Very often, the church will say, after some uh, serious studies, we have not seen anything supernatural. Sometimes they do not want to see, but that is usually the expression. We have seen nothing supernat uh, anything supernatural. What does that mean? It doesn't mean there is nothing supernatural. They only did not see yet. Maybe someday they will see. Like here in, in Lipa, there is nothing. They said after investigation, we did not see anything supernatural. The others will, will dispute. Oh, what is... Why is that... Why do they say they don't see anything supernatural? One of the things investigated is about this. At that time, she was a child, no? And she has uh, difficulty and ir 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 cannot be healed anymore with the, with, the, with the feet. And all of a sudden, it became straight and he, she was able to walk. She's now a, an old sister. Is that not supernatural? But they think they have not seen, they did not see anything supernatural. There's so many miracles. But they say they do, they do not see. Maybe they do not see yet. Maybe they're just biding their time. But uh, one of the things that many people say, for those who cannot understand, do not understand. Because some people are ruled by their un way of understanding. That's why they fail to see the work of God, which is beyond our understanding. Those who do not understand will always not find anything because they don't believe very much. They don't give ex importance to what is beyond the reason. So many of those of those who refuse to recognize the miracles happening around us are those who think reason does not show that they are true. Because they depend very much on human mind. But if you are uh, simple people like us, no? Any day is a day of miracle. Just the fact that we are born, that we are able to rise up in the morning, we could have died at night. We thank God. He has done marvelous things. And marvelous things and miraculous things are the same. But there are some miracles that are really beyond our comprehension. And many people do not exactly, they're not inclined to believe in those things beyond reason. Anyway, our Blessed Mother has titles like Our Lady of Good Help or Good Success, Our Lady of Good Counsel. Uh, these are qual qualities. No? And it's very clear already in our, uh, in the title here, in the apparition of the Blessed Mother in, in uh, uh, what's that, Green, Green Bay, Wisconsin. That place, there is a shrine in honor of Blessed Mother, is a place where people come who need help. And we always need help. What is the story behind the shrine of Our Lady of Good Help in uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin? Starts in Belgium. With a young girl, maybe 12 years old, during her first communion, uh, she was still in Belgium, and she felt strongly the call of God. She said that I am meant by God to become, to serve Him for always. All her life will be in the service of God for the service of the church. She wanted to become a nun, a religious in short. No. She was only 12 during her first communion. Her name is Adele Bryce, no. B-R-I-C-E, Adele, French speaking. And... Uh, as she was growing up, becoming a teenager, she still had that desire to be consecrated person, but 
The history of the family is something else. Something that disappointed her because she cannot become a nun. Why? Because the family decided to go to the new world. That was 18, around 1852. In 1852, she was 12 years old. No? So around 1854 or 1855, the whole family went to the United, what we call now the United States. And they ended up in a very wooded area. It was a forest no? in Wisconsin. Wisconsin is one of the uh, widely known uh, rural area. So she worked as, uh, you know, for the family. They were like the pioneers of old, no? She worked for the family uh, to, to gather sticks for wood, no? And she thought, how can I become a nun here? There are no religious around. Anyway, she was working like that, gardening with the family. She was around 18 years old. And uh, then she... she in, in the course of the ordinary work that she was doing, she encountered a beautiful lady. Very beautiful. You know all the uh, visionaries, when they encounter the Blessed Mother, they will see a person, a woman, a young girl, around between 14 and 18, who are so beautiful beyond description in this world. And... At one time, she, 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 had, she did not have just one experience of that. She had that time and again. Sometimes several times a week. No? And then, uh, she could not help it but told the parents, no, the family, about her experience meeting a beautiful lady as if just uh, living in the forest. And the parents think that she must be the souls. She must be a, a person with a spiritual need. We must pray for her. Maybe she is a soul. She had died, but she had she needs prayers. Maybe she is not yet in heaven. Until she talked to her to her confessor, and the confessor said, "The next time you see see the beautiful lady, you ask her, who are you? What do you want of me? Why do you show yourself to me?'" And that she did. And when she asked the, the beautiful lady, who are you? The Blessed Mother said, I am the Queen of Heaven. I am the Queen of Heaven. I want you to come here again and again. And I want you to do, to do something for me. Are you not ashamed? She, the Blessed Mother told her, are you not ashamed? All your other, your, your friends, that is in Belgium, no? they are doing good things. And she felt bad because she wanted to do the same. But the whole family migrated and there are only few of them and they are, she's just working for the family. What do you want me to do? You teach the children about God. There are other people there who are not Belgians. No? Surely there are Indian peoples. No? And that there were increasing number of uh, migrants, different nations. No? So she, th she was thinking of her becoming religious, but in that situation, it was impossible. Now what she did, no? she, she went to visit the different houses and she volunteered to do house help. And the salary that she wanted to receive from them is the uh, privilege. She called it privilege to talk to the children and she would teach them about God. She would teach them, she would catechize them. And of course, everybody was happy and she became well known there as a young girl who led other children to God through catechesis. So later on, uh, the Blessed Mother inspired her. Why don't you seek help from other young girls? You can, there are many other young girls who can do what you are doing. And so that's the beginning of a new congregation of religious. They were praying a lot. They were catechizing their children. And all because of 
the inspiration by the Blessed Mother who appeared always to Adele Bryce. The other, uh, the other companions who became her friends no, knew that she had contact with the Blessed Mother. And they asked, why is the Blessed Mother showing herself only to you, not to us? And the Blessed Mother told her, tell them they are blessed because they believe even if they don't see. So Adele had always this uh, instruction to Blessed Mother. She organized a group of young girls doing what she is trying to do, uh, preparing the children for Holy Communion, telling them about Christ, teaching them about living a good life, many things, no? And she was admired for that. And she became the beginning of a school, Catholic school in that area, one of the first in the United States. But that area is rather secluded, no? So, it was in 1859 that uh, she started forming a new group, not even recognized by the church yet because they are not known. But they already have school. And this school, they, they, they are able to educate children and they don't have enough um, means to maintain the school. So Adele, besides uh, praying, and uh, catechizing children would go house to house begging for material help, money, in order to continue their work. No? She was always uh, under the guidance of the Blessed Mother, and at one time, the group of these young girls who are giving catechism to the children thought of building a chapel, and they were, they were able to build for the first time the original chapel in wood in that area, which uh, in the course of time, as, they, as the years go by, becomes, the chapel becomes bigger and more and, and nicer. No? And the one revered there is the image that Adele saw, that is the uh, image of Our Lady of Good Help. Now, one, uh, sooner, uh, later on, many people go there to pray, now, one time, there were, it was a very difficult winter, very dry winter, followed by uh, spring and then very dry summer. 250, around 250 miles from the area is Chicago, a big city already at that time. And uh, maybe because of an accident, some people who are making small fires elsewhere, there was a big uh, wind and uh, the fire spread. Chicago was a ruined city at that time. And the fire uh, gutted areas, kilometers, square kilometers of uh, wood completely obliterated. And that included their, that area, Green Bay, in Wisconsin. And the and the people did not know where to go. Many of the people, even from miles away, went to the chapel, thinking that they will be saved in that area. And it is true. They prayed there. The children prayed together with the nuns who are not yet recognized as nuns. They continued praying. You know, all around was on fire. But that area where the chapel is remained intact until because of the prayer they said of the children and of the this, this consecrated people a big downpour took place stopping the big fire in that area you know several counties were on fire all around them they were the, thousands of people died but in their area they sought refuge in the chapel of our lady of help of good help and all of them were saved. That, is a, that happened in 1859 or 1871. And that is every day commemorated since that time as the miracle of the Blessed Mother. It took a long time. It was only in 2009 
that uh, the church accepted that the events, no? so, so the, the uh, Adele Brise was already dead for a long time. She's not even, con I think she's not being considered even for canonization, but she was a holy woman. Maybe, maybe it's there, but the, she's not yet known by everybody. But the miracle is recognized by people around and people from other places. They go there for pilgrimages. They seek help from the Blessed Virgin Mary. And the uh, miracle of uh, 150 years ago is still recalled every year through procession, through prayers, and through sacrifices. No? And uh, the story of, the, of this girl from Belgium who thought that she, was, she would not be able to become what uh, she thought that the Blessed Mother had in mind for her, but really became what uh, she, she felt all along was her calling. The Blessed Mother had her already in her heart. I believe that the congregation was not even recognized while she was still alive. They did not even know whether they should accept recognition or not. They did not even apply for uh, recognition, official recognition. They were just people. Of course, they were dressed differently, uh, different from others. And, and they, 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 they really look like religious, maybe with a little bit of difference, but they had their own habit and they lived strictly the prayer life and also the service to the community. By the way, until recently, even in our country, schools were not were not owned by religious or rather not no religious women were taking charge of school sometimes they help or some good people who become religious later and help in the in the running of schools but the schools did not belong to the congregation like we have now especially in our country you know owned by con congregations so at that time uh, they did not even think of having a congregation. They, they didn't see themselves as a congregation. But virtually, they're living the consecrated life that Adele thought that, he was, that she was called for. And it, in fact, she is called to that. And the Blessed Mother has, a, has different in mind. Unlike herself, who think that belonging to the religious congregations that she already knew had been existing for a long time, that will be her vocation. When she went to the United States, there was nothing of that sort. But she became virtually the beginning of a, an active congregation dedicated to prayer, contemplation, but at the same time, living among people and having apostolate in the midst of the community. That is what they, they are. And they are called by different names. They did not even have the, you know, the inspiration to what to call themselves. They are called sometimes the sisters of uh, the Our Lady of Good Help, sisters of the school, they are really sisters virtually, but they did not make any vows. They did not make any registration uh, recognized by Rome. They lived there in that isolated area in the service of the local church so, until, uh, un until recently. No? Now, Saint uh, rather, uh, Adele Breeze is one example of a person who saw the Blessed Mother to whom the Blessed Mother appeared and, uh, and very clearly chosen for a specific vocation. What is the message of the Holy Father, or, or rather of the Blessed Mother in that apparition? The message is the need always for instruction formation into Christianity. Adele fulfilled that fully, especially that, is, that has always been the problem in migration. Of course, migration, the purpose is to have better life, to have enough for, for uh, living on this earth, but spiritual life is neglected. The Blessed Mother is always concerned about that. Even the recent apparitions, the Blessed Mother regrets the fact that many children are not formed to know God, to love Him, and to serve Him. That's why she appeared in many ways and telling the visionaries that they must pray for the catechetical, 
spiritual formation of the youth and not only of the youth but of everyone because many without their knowing it are turning away from God becoming worldly forgetting to prepare for eternal life thinking that this life is all that it is and becoming uh, you know the victims of the evil one who hide the reality or the thought the image the idea of god from people that is what the devil does though. even sometimes among learned people in schools many are taught everything except who god is and how to live a good life and you know when we, you don't have god in your life if the kids are not being taught about religion they're not taught about why they are here on earth they're not taught about where they're going after this life it will be a terrible uh, future you will have people who are selfish or greedy who compete with one another for the things of the world who would like to own everything at the detriment of other people because there is no god to whom they uh, they, they, they pledge loyalty to. In a society where God is ignored, where there is no uh, instruction and in spiritual life, there will always be great trouble. Sin will abound. No? That's why the Blessed Mother appears again and again during these last centuries. She appears to everyone in order to re remind us of our duty to be with God. All the apparitions of the Blessed Mother does not have, uh, do not have purpose to make her even greater. She's already great. And you know, whatever we do, we are bringing, we are honoring the Blessed Mother as uh, under especially her title as the Mother of God. All the rest of the respect and honor that we give her are result, all, they are, all of them are result of, of that special role as mother of God and added to that mother of all God's children but why is the blessed mother going around appearing to some chosen people and through them reminding the rest of the world about our duty to God and the need to recognize God it is because humanity is failing to accomplish what he is meant to be to accomplish in the mind of God our lady of good help already for more than 150 years is uh, an attempt by the holy mother to awaken in us that concern no. if our world will be without god it will end up in greater disasters and difficulties when we are with god we have said that already before when we are with god who is the source of love and goodness if we recognize his fatherhood we will recognize that we are all brothers and sisters and we we should care for one another and together grow up grow up to become even more divine this is the accomplishment of the blessed mother she is already there enjoying the fullness of the divinity which she shares but we are meant to be God's children and her children. So to Our Lady of Good Help, we pray. Heavenly Mother, thank you for your great love for us, your children, brothers and sisters of your son Jesus. Your son wants us to be your children. He tells us that you are our mother. We know that he wants us to be truly one with him filled with the Holy Spirit and truly united and recognizant of the love of the Father. Help us, like you, to be full of grace. Help us to live aware that the Lord is with us. And grant that as we praise you, the greatest of all God's creatures, we may enjoy your motherhood, recognize your love for us, and accept your invitation and you're drawing us ever clo closer to your son. Help us to be transformed into him 
help us to love the Eucharist and bring others also to pray with you your life that is totally dedicated to Him. Heavenly Father, continue to guide us and make us truly your sons and daughters by the power of the Holy Spirit through the mighty name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So until next time, keep always close to God and our Blessed Mother and uh, tell others about these uh, moments of prayer that we enjoy with one another and with our Blessed Mother and tell them they are loved by God Himself immensely and by the Mother of God. And we must also love Him and love our Blessed Mother because this will be the source of our joy and fulfillment. Tell that to others. So subscribe and uh, share. God bless you.